Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in a place far, far away, there stood a cottage. There, a mother and her son, Jack, worked hard for their living. Jack and his mother were so poor that all they had to eat were garden vegetables and milk from Lena, their cow. Jack? 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 Yes, mother? The roof leaks, the well's gone dry, and Lena's stopped giving milk. There's work to do. How can you just sit there daydreaming with your head in the clouds? Don't worry, mother. Things always get better. Just like magic. Magic? Huh. There's no such thing. Sure there is. Remember father's magical harp and magical hen? Father always used to say they'd make us rich. Jack, there was no magic in that harp or that hen. Father always said... Have you forgotten? Someone stole them. We could have sold them and used the money. Well, what's done is done. And soon the cow will be gone, too. Take her to town and sell her, and be sure to get your money's worth. But, Mother, if I sell her... How can we feed a cow who gives no milk? We have no money. Jack couldn't argue with that, so he led Lena off toward town. Come on, Lena. You know I have to do it. Don't be stubborn. They hadn't walked far when... Why, there's a strange-looking fellow. Good afternoon, sir. Are you from around here? I'm not from here. I'm not from there. Why, I'm really not from anywhere. Who are you? A peddler for today. But why did you come this way? My mother sent me to town to sell our cow. Aha! Go no further. But I have to. I'll buy her. Mother warned me to strike a good bargain. What'll you give me? These three shiny beans. That's not enough for one meal. Meal? Meal? Look closer, boy. You don't eat these beans. They are magic. Oh, boy, just what I need. This is a bargain. I'll take them. Jack went home with the wonderful news. Mother, just see what I got for Lena. Three beans. Not just any beans. Magic beans. Magic? Foolishness. I put up with your father's worthless chicken who was supposed to lay golden eggs and laid not one ordinary speckled egg. But this... Magic? I'll show you what I think of magic beans. But, Mother... No ifs, ands, or buts, Jack. With that, she sent Jack off to bed without any supper. I should have sold that cow myself. During the night, something strange happened. And when Jack woke up... What's that I hear? I must be dreaming. That is the most gigantic beanstalk I have ever seen. It's big enough to climb. I wonder where it goes. Well, the only way to find out is to climb it. The beanstalk was growing even faster than Jack wow. could climb. Whee! But, but it's kind of scary in the clouds. I can't see up or down. Look at that, will you? A castle in the sky! Jack's stomach was growling after his long climb, so he ran right up to the castle and knocked on the gate. Yes? What is it? Uh, be quick about it. Please, ma'am. I've come a terrible distance. I'm feeling low and weak. Could you spare me a bite? You are shrunken to nothing, lad. And my mother's starving, too. Oh, hush, hush. Oh, what an awful yammering, enough to bring my husband crunching home. Well, come in. Come in. Thank you. Not so loud. My husband will hear you. He doesn't like children? Likes them. Loves them. Boiled, baked, roasted or toasted, dressed with herbs, you name it. 
He... He eats children? Of course. Why not? He eats anything and everything. Oh, quick! Hide in the oven. He's coming. Sniffing and snorting, the horrible giant crashed into the room. Smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Gracious, no, my sweet. It's the crumbs from the boys you had for breakfast that you smell. Well, what's cooking for supper tonight, woman? Oh, no, 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 don't bother with the oven. I have your six roasted pigs right here. The giant gobbled his supper. Mm, then, woman, bring me my magic hen. Do this, do that, get this, get that. Oh, you think about it, he could take a rest after all our cooking. Now, woman. Of course, my sweet. Here she is. Lay, hen, lay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those eggs, my pretty pet. So that's who stole my father's hen. And she lays a golden egg every time he hollers lay. Soon, the giant, comfortable and drowsy, dozed off. Now's my chance. Jack sneaked from the oven, seized the hen, and scrambled down the beanstalk fast as greased lightning. Mother, mother, see what I found? It's father's hen. Look! Lay, hen, lay. What? Oh, these look like solid gold. They are. She's really magic. Oh, mother, we'll never be hungry again. We can sell the eggs. And so they did. For a while. But Jack couldn't get the castle in the sky out of his head. Hmm. That old ugly giant still got my father's harp. Nothing to do but go and get it. So Jack made a plan. Took to the beanstalk again and banged on the castle gate. Looking for you ever since his precious hen disappeared. Yes, ma'am, I can explain all that if you'll just give me a bite to eat. Well, now, the giant woman couldn't resist, so she gave Jack an apple tart. But just then... I smell the blood of an Englishman. Quick, jump in the wood box. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. He's in here somewhere, but he smells like the one who stole my hen. Oh, no. It's only your supper you smell. The giant gobbled potatoes, drank from the barrel, and chopped down six roasted geese. Then... Wife, bring me my magic harp. Complain, complain, bring me Hurry up, woman. My feet are killing me. Here it is, my darling. Play, harp, play. That's it. My father's magic harp. Ah, my sweet music. <gasps> onto the table, grabbed the harp, and ran. But the harp became frightened. Shh! He'll hear you! Who dare steal my harp? I'll get you this time! Jack clambered down no. the beanstalk with a giant close behind. Fee, ho, hum, I'll catch hey, you, thieving Englishman! Get my axe! Get my axe, mother, hurry! I got you! Here's the axe!
was the end of the giant. As for Jack, he'd had enough of beanstalks and castles in the sky. With the hen to lay golden eggs and the harp to play beautiful music, Jack and his mother lived a life of ease, happily ever after.